Remember this radio, ladies and gentlemen? Hello, everybody. After one year of working on this, it finally works. And I'm going to show you right now. I just finished soldering the oscillator coil, which is, I think it's this one right here. And I'm going to plug it in. I didn't even have to fiddle with it or anything. It just came right on. Right onto a station. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my whole life. I've never actually fixed something like this before. I've always had somebody else do it. Now to actually fix it like this is the most incredible thing. See? I replaced that capacitor in there. All these ones that you see this orange. I put those in there. Now obviously it's going to need a little bit more work because it doesn't sound exactly right. Wait, let's see. Yeah, it still sounds a little funny, but it's it's doing a heck of a lot more than it was doing before, which is absolutely nothing. It was just humming. I'm so thrilled. This is the best thing. I just got to do a little adjustments, maybe replace a couple tubes. And I'm going to shut it off now. Show you my work that I did. Just a minute. I had to replace all these Bakelite capacitors. That. 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 This one. This one. This one. This one. That one, and these two big ones, which you can see right here, I'd actually take them apart and replace them with modern capacitors inside. And this thing right here is a filter capacitors. And I had to replace every single one of those. And I really don't like this right here, because this is electrical tape. And let me just see if I can fix the focus. Okay, that's better. See, I really don't like that electrical tape there. But I really don't have anything else right now to seal it with. But I, I think they make a kind of stuff that you can brush on there. And I just finished soldering this one in. This is that main coil that I had somebody rebuild for me. That coil is probably okay. Because it's working. That coil is probably okay. But uh, yeah, this is very beautiful. This is a very beautiful thing. Uh, I fixed it without any help from anybody else. So that means that that's okay. And I was worried about this transformer because you can see wax on here. And that sometimes means that the transformer is burned out. But in this case, I got lucky. Okay, I just removed the duct tape and cardboard speaker protector that I've had on there for a year. Well, wait a minute, no. I got this in February, no. March last year, so it's been almost a year. So let's turn it back on. Takes a minute to warm up. Programming on WNNZ is funded by Echo Hill Townhouse Apartments. See, it's still going to need a little work, but. 
Oops. So there's a there's a band switch in that too. Okay, I hit the switch thing by accident. You can, you can hear it still sounds a little mushy. So there's more I gotta do to this. Let's see what I can get if I do this. Wow, it's picking up all sorts of stuff. The heck is that? That's weird. Put it back on AM. I think that's AM. Something's over modulating somewhere. Before the meeting begins. That's why smart business people choose Comfort Suites of Clifton Park. Comfort Suites of Clifton Park has just introduced new lower Yeah, something's definitely over modulating or something. So anyway. Let's go up a little bit more here. Anyway, tubes are all nice and warm. Anyway, that's it. Um, if anybody knows what I can do to kind of adjust it some more, let me know. Because, um, I mean, do I have to adjust these things back here or something? Because I don't really know how to adjust it much more. I might have a couple of capacitors that are slightly out of uh, range. But anyway, any suggestions like maybe uh, All American 5 radio, I know you'd know. Uh, see what I can do to make it sound even better. But I'm just so happy that I got it running. After a whole year of having it not work, I, I finally got it. And I'm so, so happy. So, thanks everybody for watching. Bye.